questions you should not be answering when asked by a car salesman. Are you financing paying cash? I don't know. Are you going to be trading anything in? We hadn't decided. As a sales consultant for four and a half years, this video bothers me. The advice isn't bad. Stay guarded. Give information when necessary so you can be on top. The way that she's displaying this information makes us sales guys out to be the bad guy. So in this video, she goes on to tell you, uh, don't answer questions while you're outside. These are the five questions you don't answer. You know, are you paying financing? Are you doing cash? Uh, what's your credit like? What do you have for trading? Stuff like that. And really, it just comes down to her saying, don't answer these questions while you're outside. Don't give them any information. Those salespeople are going to get you. The number one thing I have to say to that is, wow. <laughs> wow. So if you were to follow that advice, you would actually waste a lot, a lot of your time. Again, I can't speak for every sales guy out there, but my goal is to make sure that I help you get what you need in the shortest amount of time possible. Who the heck wants to spend more time at a dealership than they need to? The key to this specifically is if you're transparent with me, it's going to make it so much faster. As a salesperson, I'm already set up to have to be transparent. We have to provide repair orders, car faxes. We have to provide the information on the vehicle before you make your visit. If we don't do that, if we don't earn your trust, we don't get your business. Again, I can't speak for all car sales representatives out there. There are some pretty shady ones out there. Not talking about them. If you go to a place in which that person on the other phone with the car in their inventory is making sure that you understand everything about this vehicle before you make your visit, you might have a winner. Somebody that actually cares about taking care of you. Furthermore, in this video, she's talking about being very, very vague. You know, oh, are you financing? I don't know. Do you have a credit score? Yeah, last time I checked, it has three digits. If you play these kind of games, it's just going to make it way, way worse. We need to find out that information if you want to actually make a purchase on a vehicle. Not play games. Lastly, I need to be able to qualify you for what you're looking for. If you're looking at a truck that's $60,000 and you want to be in a $200 payment, I'm sorry, sir, if you're not putting any money down, you can't get to that payment. It's about being real. And here's the number one thing that I would recommend as great advice. Make sure you find somebody that's real. Transparency is key. If we can make a car deal work and earn your business, fantastic. The key is, with car sales, it's all on the table anymore. By all means, feel free to be guarded, but be prepared to answer some questions if you want to save the most time and get the best deal.